if you have Windows 11 on your device like I do, but you will like Windows 10. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make Windows 11 look like Windows 10. Hi friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to make Windows 11 look like Windows 10. This is going to be pretty simple ones. So, without further ado, let's go. So first I'm just we need to create our store point like as usual. So choose your drive and click on configure. Turn on system protection and give it size for it to use. I'm okay with five with 22 gigabytes. Now click on apply. Click on OK. Now we wanna click on create and we wanna name I'm just gonna call it Windows 11 V4 Tutorial and stick around till the end of this video and I'm gonna show you how to revert back to the state before doing your customization, your, your documents, like all your, like your good stuff won't be affected. So now we'll wait for the restore point to create. Once we are done, click on close and click on OK. Now, I'm not gonna use a whole lot of stuff for today, and, but we're gonna use Explore Patcher and the Windows 10 wallpaper that you like, the older or the modern one. So first, I'm gonna set the older as my desktop background, which kind of fits in dark mode, in my opinion. Now we're gonna run Explore Patcher. This will make Windows 10 and Windows 11 Start menu. Windows 10 Taskbar and Start menu. So we'll wait for this. And here we go. So here we have like the export patcher some settings. So here we have Windows 11 start menu. So change that to the Windows 10 one. Now this is in the middle, so so, we, so here. In order to change this, we want to select the position on screen to at start edge. And here you go. Now we can. Now this is my. All my apps on my main machine. But on, on Windows 10 like start menu, which kind of looks nice. And everything other is, is nearly identical to Windows 10. Here are like the controls, and now we have the look. But the good thing is, we can still take advantage of of the Windows 11 features that Windows 10 doesn't have. For example, the uh, new settings. Just as an example. So, yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to revert back to the state before doing this. So this is going to be pretty simple. So we want to go to system restore or just type create the restore point. And now, now click on system restore. Now click on next. Choose that. And click on next and this will be done after will we'll take a little bit of time and it'll do what what I did or we can just manually remove pretty much everything manually if we want to so yeah so anyway 
thank you all so much for watching make sure to subscribe and turn and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye